All right, so here we are back at the Makita grinder. I'm going to feel the, the blade on the stone this way and uh, see, see if I can get a sense for where the angle is. All right, uh, 25 degrees-ish. And here we go, Let's see what happens. <laughs> A new noise. Okay, so now we have uh, a nice line up here that's honed properly. You can see I didn't grind the hollow perfectly. I took a little scoop here and here. It doesn't really matter because this straightens it all out. Let's see if I did better on this one. Okay, so there's the, uh, the honed bevel, 1,000 grit scratches, not too bad really. Pretty nice surface, and got a little burr, just what we want. And we're going to go on to polishing. Okay, so here we are at the polishing setup. This is a split lap. Um, it's made of felt, 100% wool. And it's uh, eight inches in diameter. Uh, it rotates in this direction, as you can see, <laughs> very important. Um, same direction as this arrow. <laughs> and um, it spins at 3,600 RPM which means that the peripheral speed is around, um, I don't know, 8,000 feet per minute or about 80 miles an hour. Um, nevertheless, it, it's a safe tool. I'm gonna touch it while it's running now. So, I mean, it's, 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 not a, it's, it's, it's not without any risk, but it's a pretty safe tool. It's a soft cutter and um, we charge it with buffing compound. And we're gonna put, put a polish on these nice stone surfaces.
Now we can see that the plane is, the blade is cutting the paper without any, any problem. Um, and uh, this is a, you know, pretty good test. If it'll do this, then it's sharp enough to do some good work. Um, you can try shaving yourself and feeling it with your thumbnail and all that stuff. But I promise you, if you use this method, and when you look at the edge under good light, you can't see the edge. It's sharp. It can't be anything but sharp. Um, I've done this quickly just to show that the elapsed time on this is very, very attractive. So here we have two blades that were kind of hopelessly messed up that are now ready to go to work at the top of the, at the, top of the field uh, and to hold an edge for a long time because the, the buffing wheel or felt lap uh, automatically creates a tiny, tiny round that uh, on, on the end of the tool. So this is basically a teaser, what I've just done. I wanted just to show you how quickly this works and how, how much fun it is to get it done. It's not a big deal. Sharpening should be easy. Everything else in guitar making is hard. So let's, um, let's figure out how to get our tool sharp quickly so that we don't resist the, uh, the idea that it's time to sharpen whatever it is you're using. All right, we're gonna do a deep dive into all of these processes, but here's your teaser. Hopefully you're interested and you're gonna listen while I explain how these things work. <laughs> Thanks so much.